7,000 years. The Northern Hemisphere ice took 7,000 years to melt. And it will most probably take at least 1,000 years for Antarctica to melt. Right. And therefore, we, it's not going to happen overnight. And, and the sea level has been gradually raising. We have actually, okay. Uh, we have actually seen it rise by about three millimeters every year. And so we could expect if the same rate goes on to rise by about one foot per century. Right. So, Doctor, on a final note, now today is the New Year's Eve and uh, we analyze things in a more astronomic perspective, so to say. So, is there anything that you want to link with astronomy and New Year and also to wish the audience? Uh, and, uh, as yes, a I think uh, uh, as I would like to sort of bring up uh, one thing is that Sri Lanka, IYA IY 2009 was a program which had a lot of programs. It was the International Year of Astronomy last year and we had a big program last year and we are this year we are trying to extend that and there is some program called beyond the iya 2009 as also to make april a special month where we would do more astronomical observations so there's a, it has they are trying to have a program to have a global astronomy month to be april so wow, it's that nice is to have something. a new year to be the time which will most probably have, we have a lot of holidays and we can go out and look at the stars and Sri Lanka also is getting involved. We do a lot of programs at schools, take telescopes out there and try to peop, allow because people. Because there's astronomical societies yes. in the schools yeah. as well. The astronomy, there's, so in conjunction with the astronomy societies in school and most of the big schools do have astronomical societies and we are trying to do a program to have much more sort of people to actually go out and see the stars and the planets and be they scared of them as affecting their life. <laughs> right, Dr. Kavan Ratnatung, it was actually good so that we start actually visualizing at least even the planets in the universe and how the life originated, whether there'll be an end of the earth, when the sun, sun will actually burn out. So concepts that we don't usually think about on a day-to-day -day right. basis and the fact that uh, tomorrow is a new year, it's good to think of new cycles all the time and new beginnings. So on that note, uh, Dr. Kavan Ratnatunga, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you very much for joining us tonight on the New Year's Eve. And we all wish you on behalf of Prime TV a very happy New Year to all of you. Thank you, Doctor, and thank you for watching us tonight.